everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel i'm jen today i'm taking you to b &M with me and just showing you the full christmas range and then i did see some kind of new chocolate bits and things added on to the end as well i was going to film the halloween section but most of it's gone now i know we're still in october but most of it's gone so i thought i would plan ahead and just show you the christmas range because the christmas range in b &M does tend to go before december as well so I thought I'd show you that today. And they have lots of really nice silver, blue, pink baubles, lots of woodland kind of creatures as well, which I think is really nice. So I hope that you enjoy watching this video and let's go straight into this come shop with me. So I'm gonna start off with all the really nice woodland decorations. They had a lot of really nice berries, kind of woodland, frosted kind of look here as well. Like this little half wreath is really cute. And I'm definitely going to pick that up if they have it in stock when I go for all my Christmas decorations. They also have these really lovely wooden decorations in the baubles. And those are £3 each, but they're all a little bit different. And this Noel sign is absolutely gorgeous for £6. I love the owl inside. And then they have all these lovely woodland animals. And the fox one's probably my favourite. I just think it's very autumn-y as well. But yeah, they had some raccoons and those were £3 and they were quite uh, heavy actually. They were really good quality. And then they have lots of other woodland animals here. We have Christmas cars that light up with the tree on top, which is just a classic. And then they had this lovely Merry Christmas sign. I couldn't actually find the price, but I thought it was really nice and fit in with like the whole woodland theme. And then they had these huge white and wood effect stars. These, those were quite big actually for £10. Then moving on to all the pink range. I am going to let you have a little look at all the different pink things. But they had lots of baubles, lots of little gonks and bigger gonks. They also had some really nice little Christmas tree decorations as well. Um, the glittery ones are gorgeous. And then they also have some more animals in the kind of sparkly glitter. So I will just let you have a little look at all the pink range.
now moving on to the white and silver range they had lots of different baubles here so that's why i showed them they have some initial ones they have some really nice glass ones which i don't think b&m did last year but yeah they had some really nice glass frosted ones and they even have these really nice feather boa wreaths now i'm not quite sure where it would go on a tree but i think it would make a really nice decoration for a wall or a bedroom and then they had some more little woodland creatures in a really silvery white. And then at the bottom they had some lovely snow globes, which I love the penguin one, it is just adorable. And then they also had some light up trees, which looked very fancy and they lit up a lovely blue colour. And then these frosted wood trees here were just absolutely amazing, £8. Again, definitely going to pick one of those up I think but they had some more tree skirts, they had this kind of one, let it snow, and then they had some feathery baubles. This little decoration here with the deer inside was absolutely gorgeous, and that one lit up as well. Then they had some lovely bears with hats and scarves on, and some penguins, and then they had some really nice glass deers, and I think those do light up as well, but they looked really expensive, so i definitely go down to B&M for that kind of thing. They had lots of glassware this year and then they had some more gonks here and then they had a huge kind of pine cone snowy wreath which I thought was stunning. Like I really want to buy this when I next go and that one was only £12. And again they had the stockings and the furry tree skirts and then they had Merry Christmas signs and the feather boas, which I think the feather boas are actually quite expensive this year. Um, they're £4 for probably 1.5 metres or something. You probably have to buy a lot for your tree, but I know it is very kind of in style these days. So I'll just let you have a little look at the rest of the decorations. At the end they kind of had a few blue touches mixed in with all the silver i absolutely adore the navy baubles in this package here for £3.50 definitely need to buy those because i am having a navy tree this year so i'm very excited to be buying baubles for that but they are quite rare navy baubles and then they had a lot of wrapping paper so i thought i'd just show you a few of the of the designs there one pound for five meters which i thought isn't too bad And then they have all the classic nutcrackers and some kind of neutrally ones as well. And then they had some really nice standard kind of Christmas decorations you see all year round. Not all year round, every December I mean. So they had the little nativity set that you can play with or put for decoration. And then they have some more of these lovely glass toys. This one actually sang, uh, quite a few of them do, but they're all a little bit different. And I love the big Christmas tree one there. And they actually brought out wine bottle bags this year with the initials on. They also had the sacks and then here are the stockings. And then this is the kitchenware for Christmas. So they had a few mugs for £2.50. I love the snowman one. I thought the snowman one was really cute. They have lots of tea towels, plates, cups. 
and some designs are a little bit different so some have robins on and some have like christmas trees on and things so yeah there is a really nice selection and these placemats are really nice as well for five pound and you get eight there so that's great for if your family's coming over for christmas dinner and this little plate here was really cute just nice and simple but not over the top and then they also had the huge Christmas jars, so that would be good for like hot chocolates and things, hot chocolate stations. And then they had these little stag and Christmas tree mugs. This Christmas tree mug here was absolutely huge, it was quite a big one. And then they had, again, more plates and things like that. just show you all the kind of Christmas wrapping and gifting ideas and all the Christmas cards in case you are looking for a certain colour scheme or a certain design so you get the 40 Christmas cards which are great for obviously schools and things like that and then they have your bigger foil cards and Christmas designs and then you have some adhesive labels here as well which are the sticker ones which I found very handy and then Ali absolutely loved this tape it was £1.50 get three designs and then they also did like a gold design as well and then they had so many bow packs so a 40 pack of bows here for three pound lots of different color schemes again and then they also had christmas ribbon i personally don't use ribbon but the ribbon was very pretty this year i might start wrapping my presents in it and then they also had lots of gift bags and tags if you don't like the sticky ones they have some proper tags but a few of them did look a little bit hard to write on and then they had bottle bags and just bigger gift bags as well and then the kind of last section that i want to show you was the gifting so i thought i'd show you the best gifts that i could find in my b m so they have lots of birthstones and star sign gifts and these boxes were ripped slightly but they have mini Himalayan salt lamps which I thought were really nice in case you didn't want a really big one that would make a really nice stocking filler they also have star sign notebooks I love that little match set there I thought that was very cute and then they also have the classic knitted mugs and all the different pet things as well so different mugs are here different bottles different travel mugs as well they just had like the whole set they did have they have had this range for probably about two years now in B&M but I do really love it and they even had some little microwave hotties and then they even had these milestone cards which I thought would be cute if you had just got a new dog or a new cat and then again they had more stationery and they even had alphabet bandanas this year as well which I thought were cute so I thought I'd mention those and then they had some really nice techie gifts Again, very cheap, but you know, a good use to someone who obviously is very into their tech. New chargers, new phone cases, new phone rings that had initials on, which I've not actually seen before, but I found the little J for my name. And then they had LED ring lights down below and even a unicorn one, which I thought was a nice idea. So yeah, they had so many. And then these are just like the kind of jokey stocking filler kind of gifts but are some games that you can play with your family on christmas day so yeah i just thought i'd show you the last few little gifts of this section then the final section that i want to show you are all the really nice kind of food gifts to get people like the s'mores kits and skillet kits and dipping kits and stuff like that i just thought that would be a really nice idea for a night in and just have using like your christmas presents i thought that was just a really nice idea and they even had some kind of weird chocolate chili things these skillets look absolutely amazing and you do get to keep the skillet pan at the end it's not like a 
plasticky kind of thing. It's a proper skillet. And they even had some milkshake ones as well. They also had advent calendars, so I thought I'd just quickly show you in case you want to get yours a little bit earlier. I think the Reese's one has definitely gone up in price. I don't remember it being £4.29 last year. And then they had these little Cadbury's puds, which I thought would be nice for a stocking. And they're only 50p. And this giant chocolate coin would make any child happy in their stocking. So those were only a pound. And then you get your little chocolate Santas and snowmen and stuff like that. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you the rest of the little chocolate and sweet aisle. So that was everything in my come shop with me. I hope you enjoyed watching. They have so many nice Christmas bits this time of year. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.